What makes SAMHSA a pioneer in energy transition and social innovation? Let's learn from SAMHSA's journey in empowering its island inhabitants and transforming with them its economy and ecological footprint. So the special about SAMHSA is probably that we as a community make, made a 100% transition from oil to renewable energy. 20 years ago that was quite unusual that you made such a successful transformation. So the fast transition happens when you connect locality, activity and mentality. So this is, in other words, that we actually make people believe it's their own idea, uh, it's their own invention, so to speak, that this is good for us because, and then you have a list of good arguments like ownership and financial possibilities, new jobs, uh, local resources used uh, in a more sustainable way and so on and so forth. The evolution of the project or the snowball effect of the project is that when we saw the first project successfully be realized, then people got more confidence and trust and said, all right, it's not so difficult, we can do this. It's about defining the purpose and the roles with as many as possible, then the ownership becomes very strong for the local community. What we did was that we introduced very well-functioning windmills, established enough wind power to be self-supplied with, with electricity from wind power. Heating is a combination of solar and biomass heat pumps in remote houses where you don't have access to collective underground heating systems. And the last one is transportation, which has been a big issue because we didn't 20 years ago have electric cars. We have them more today. So we put up power enough on offshore capacity to feed into batteries and electric cars and ferries. The benefit of the island was basically to change the economy from import economy to export economy. To make the energy question something that everyone could work on together mm -hmm. for a locally based solution, I think that is in inspiring. Um, since we normally talk about problems and not uh, come together with the shared ownership to, to solve it. So I think the model is really interesting. And also the technical uh, solutions that, I, that I, they have um, demonstrated here. From SAMSO case, uh, Greek islands can uh, get inspired by the local ownership that uh, people in SAMSO um, has, uh, has dedicated. I think it gives inspiration and, and hope, hope. <laughs> <laughs> to, hope. Yeah. to do something, yeah. even in the small, smallest municipalities yeah. in Norway. Yeah. So I think it's about growing kind of a trust and a, and a courageous community that can make even more difficult decisions. But you have to grow and learn by doing things and step by step uh, develop your own way of handling things. <laughs>